This kite aerial photography rig is just a bent piece of aluminum and a thumb screw. A peak of A or pendulum can be attached at the top. The camera is easily tilted for oblique aerial photos, but only in portrait mode, not landscape mode. But there is one situation when portrait mode might be more appropriate, when the photos are going to be stitched together into panoramas. Because if the tilt angle can't be changed during the flight so you can only capture a single row of photos, portrait mode captures a greater vertical angle of view, so the panoramas should have more coverage. Generally, rigs like this do not pan. They just take repeated photos pointed in the same direction. But that little blue plastic disc can change that. It's part of a device which could allow this simple rig to pan. The rest of the device is this other piece of blue plastic. This is an escapement, which, like in a grandfather clock, transfers the motion of a swinging pendulum into incremental rotational movement. My first models of this did not work very well, but the 3D printer allowed me to try lots of minor modifications until I found one that sort of works. I printed this slowly and at a higher resolution than I usually do, and it took about an hour to print one set like this. These are some of the designs that did not work so well. The idea is that as the two pieces rock back and forth over each other, the angled teeth will force small steps of rotation. So any motion that causes the joint to articulate is likely to cause some rotation. Here's the first field test, in my backyard on a fixed line. The Canon PowerShot is taking a photo every three seconds, and I'm waiting at least that long between jerks on the line. But many of the photos are going to be nothing but motion blur, even though the shutter speed was 1 800th of a second. This is a crude analog for being lofted by a kite, but maybe a useful test nonetheless. I couldn't yank on the line any way I wanted, because the other end is tied to the TV antenna on top of my house, and I really didn't want to pull that off. It was pretty easy to get the rig to rotate with a sharp yank, although sometimes it failed to rotate, and sometimes it turned too much. I kept doing this until the rig had spun all the way around a few times, and then selected 40 photos that were not too blurry. Microsoft Ice stitched them all into a 360 degree panorama. Here's the stereographic projection of the panorama, and here it is after Ice filled in the missing snow and sky. It looks like I might be able to make this work, 